two. Hi, Geiger Nation. I'm back, and you're not going to believe who I found while we were sharing a glass of wine. It's my turn. Here in Hong Kong. This is Michelle Bell, who is editor of ASI's Supplier Global Resources Magazine. And she's been here in Hong Kong and earlier, in fact, in Guangzhou doing some of her research. And I thought it might be interesting for you to hear Michelle's observations of product trends coming out of Asia. Michelle, what, yes, have, you, what have you seen uh, in the last uh, week that you've been here in Asia? Well, I would say that there are some trends that have carried through from the Guangzhou show to the Hong Kong show. Specifically, in the past few years, neon colors were really hot. Now it's more pastels, purples, pinks, blues, um, mint greens. Still with frost, I would say, metallics, but definitely look for pastels. The products that I see at the shows that I cover for the magazine as far as trends, we'll see in the suppliers' lines in the industry in the next six months to a year. So it's really fascinating. You come to these shows and you see them here first, and then you'll see them in the U.S. and North American suppliers' lines. There was one really cool product that kind of knocked my socks off at the Guangzhou show. It was a Ziploc bag, and you kind of put your iPad or your iPhone in, and it just suctioned right to it and you could dunk it underwater so technically you could be underwater with the bag protecting your iPad or your smartphone and take photos through this little plastic bag and I'm happy to give you the contact information or anybody who'd like the company I'm happy to do that but it was very cool you look shocked shocked I, and amazed I, I you know I, I love my iPad so much there's no way I think I would risk taking it underwater it works but though they you, tested it they did they tested it if you said it works it. then maybe we'll try it I'm also thrilled that neons are going away because <laughs> neons too. are annoying so looking for metallics that that is much snazzier and more, more exciting any other observations or trends that you saw this past week I would say green, um, as far as eco-green, is still a very hot trend. They're definitely on the forefront of that here. Um, lots of silicone, which, um, especially with housewares, is just a wonderful touch. And again, used to be neon and silicone, but now we're seeing a lot more muted colors. Um, a lot of mattes instead of mm. shiny. Mm. So look for that. I, I, in fact, uh, that reminds me, actually, I saw silicone as an imprinting technique, which was very cool. It's sort of a, a raised technique. Uh, it reminds me of the old puff printing. Um, Michelle, it's wonderful to have you here. I'm looking forward to our finishing our glass of wine. And um, great That's to see you and welcome you here. Just uh, <laughs> love you. Thank and you. And bye, Geiger Nation. Bye.